since before the start of Lent, we have been preparing here in our parish for the Feast of St. Joseph this year. But it's a very special year, this, because Pope Francis has dedicated this year, from Advent last year until the Immaculate Conception this year, to St. Joseph, patron of the Universal Church. And we've been preparing for the Feast of St. Joseph over 33 days by reflections and prayers in his honour, in order to make a consecration to him on his feast day, the 19th of March. And a consecration means simply renewing those promises we made on the day of our baptism, when we gave ourselves to Almighty God. And by making a consecration to St. Joseph, we are, as it were, handing our lives over to him, asking for his protection in a quite unconditional way. Now, it's quite wonderful that Pope Francis has given us this year in honour of St. Joseph. And it seems it was as a result of some holy and pious priests writing to Pope Francis this time last year and saying, wouldn't it be wonderful if we could have a year dedicated to this saint? We've had years of mercy, we've had years of the priesthood, we've had years of scripture and all kinds of other things, but we've never had a year of St. Joseph in the history of the church. So this year the Pope has given to us so that we can focus on St. Joseph in a kind of unconditional way. Now, it seems to me that we've waited almost 2,000 years for this opportunity because although there have been saints in the history of the church who have had a certain devotion to St. Joseph, I'm thinking of people like Teresa of Avila or Teresa of Lisieux, generally speaking, he's been slightly overlooked. And so we've got this wonderful opportunity now to receive this grace from God to come closer to the foster father of our blessed Lord. He's the husband of Mary. He's the protector of the church, the patron of workers, the terror of demons, and the protector of family life. So with all this in mind, I want to invite you to join with me on this Friday, the 19th of March, to make a consecration to St. Joseph. We'll be doing it both at Mass here on Friday and then at the end of Devotions and Benediction on Friday evening here. But if you can't attend Mass, you can join with us on the live streaming as always. But together with this message and on the website, you'll find copies of the Litany in honour of St. Joseph and also a prayer, an act of consecration, which you can make. So please use these prayers use this opportunity. Let's really monopolise on this special year we have and ask St Joseph, who is our special protector and patron in this parish, which is also dedicated to him, together with Our Lady of Lourdes, to draw closer to him and through him to be brought in to the love and the mercy of Jesus, our Divine Saviour. So in anticipation now, I'm wishing you all a very happy feast of St Joseph and let's pray together that this saint will be a special patron and protector for us at this time when we need his care and love and tender affection so much. God bless you all.